Chris here with by far the best e-bike that I have reviewed here when it comes to 20 inch foldables. It's the Go Cycle G4. Now it's made out of lightweight composite material. So the frame right here, it's an injection molded composite that they've used. It has a carbon fiber front fork, which is just a single sided front fork and a 250 watt motor in the front there that's giving us the pedal assist. So where they can, they have reduced the weight of this. It means that this particular 20 inch e-bike only weighs 17.6 kilos, which is very good. Now right here, we do have a removable battery that's located inside the frame. It's 8.1 amp hours, and it should give us a range of around 65 to actually over that to about maybe 80 kilometers. It has custom riding modes via the application that you can pair up to it with low powered Bluetooth, hydraulic disc brakes, and it's even got a set of lights that come on automatically, which are very powerful and some of the best I've seen in an e-bike. Overall, it is fantastic, this bike, my time testing it out. It even has three gears too. And look at this, folding it is so quick and easy. It's simply just a lever right here. You gotta get the pedal level, however, and you flip it right around and then the handlebar comes down and this only takes about 10 seconds. You can even go as far as pulling out the seat post to really reduce the size and then you can go and put that under a steer well. You can go into public transport with it or put it in the boot of the car. It's that easy. The bike comes fully assembled. It's already folded inside the box. So you just unfold it. It's ready to go. There's a charger included. Charge time is four hours. We do have hydraulic disc brakes. Now they are hidden behind the shroud that goes over the front of them. And being hydraulic, the performance of them is very good, 160 millimeter. The Go Cycle has what is called their clean drive. So within this, we have three gears. So a low gear, an intermediate gear, and then a high gear. Now this cover means that you're not gonna get any oil grease on you. You don't have to worry about getting your pants, for example, stuck in the chain. Now we do have a shock a dampener right here to make the ride a little bit more comfortable. So when you're sitting down, it'll help soak up some of those bumps. And the pedals, these are high quality ones made out of an ABS style strong plastic and they are foldable like the rest of the bike is. The frame of the G4 is made out of composite materials to of course lighten the weight of it. And here we do have the charging port. So charge time is about four hours, which is quite quick for a bike like this. And then we have our latch here that does have a little security. So you simply need to press that in and then pull on the latch and the bike can be folded in half. The quality of the latch and the way it mates up here with the fold is very good. It feels strong. The design is excellent. And just the overall build quality of everything is absolutely top notch with the Go Cycle G4. Here at the rear, we do have a supernova, very powerful LED. Now these lights come on automatically and will be running all the time as soon as it detects that the bike is moving. The front light is also very powerful and bright, so they are daytime running LED lights. So you're able to see them during daylight, really good for safety. The G4 has plastic mud guards, both front and the rear, so great if you intend to ride this bike in wet climates or in the rain or the odd shower. The seat post is height adjustable, so catering to all rider heights, and it can actually be removed very quickly too. There's a screw on the side that when you loosen that off, you can pull the seat post right out. The bike has a nice size seat, wide enough, and it is comfortable with good padding. You see, we do have a reflector here hidden away, and there is this tool right here to adjust the seat. So the seat post, unfortunately, does not have a quick release on it. Now, I really like the tires on this bike too as well. They are very unique looking and that's because they are MotoGP inspired, their own custom design. Row tires, of course, with this tread pattern and I really like the fact that they have a reflector strip around them on the sidewall for added safety. Now, you've probably seen that there's this little rubber band thingy that's here, right? So what is that for? Well, the team's actually thought of everything with this bike. This is for when you fold the bike in half, you can strap this around it to stop it from rattling and it holds it together when folded. What makes this bike look really clean and tidy, the design of it, is all of the cables are internally routed just apart from these ones here, which are hydraulic cables that have to go on the outside, but it's very nicely done. So we don't have that horrible spaghetti mess of cables like we do with other e-bikes I review. And this is the bike now completely folded, super compact. It really is good. You can see that the team's put a lot of thought into just how this can be folded up 
into the smallest possible size. And with the bike folded in half, we now have access to the removable battery, which is 1.8 amp hours. You can just simply just pull it out, and that means you can charge it outside of the bike. Now the grips the G4 has are very good, they're not moving about on me. And you'll notice right here, almost hidden away, there's a little button. So this is a boost button. Pushing that, it gives you maximum power. So that's handy for when you're getting tired or you start out riding in a high gear and you just want to boost up your speed a little bit, you press that and that's exactly what it's going to do. So we have a bell and right here is a Type-C port with a one amp output for charging your phone. There are these little rubber straps here, a phone holder. If you want to use the application, which pairs up with low powered Bluetooth, you can put it there. Otherwise, we've got a little display here that has some red LEDs in there that is telling us what our battery life is. So the pedal assist levels, you control those and set that via the application. And on the right, our shifter. So it is a grip shift, three gears for the clean drive system. And that's good to see because a lot of these other foldable bikes that I've reviewed, for example, the Hom bike that has a drive shaft, no gears at all, which was one of the cons of it. And I do like the brake lever design here. So they are hydraulic brakes and they do have a very good, nice firm feel to them as you'd expect from hydraulics. And finally, there is a power button located right here. It's quite discreet. Simply press that to power on or off the G4. So what is it like to ride here, the Go Cycle G4? So I really do like this kickstand. I think it's great, it doesn't rattle, and the design of it means it's got support either side, the bike is not going to fall over. So you simply need to just push it forward, up it goes, and the great part is that yes, it's not gonna make any noise, it's not gonna bang up against the frame. So the riding position, it is quite upright. Handlebar height for me is good, I'm 182 centimeters tall, and there's no way my knees are gonna strike the handlebars. I don't feel like I'm crammed in with the frame geometry here. It is good, I think it's a, an adequate, decent size. It's gonna cater for pretty much everyone out there. Now I've got my mobile connected here, so I can see the app, see everything in the holder, and the gears. So the first gear is the lowest, ideal for climbs, steep climbs, and then we have the second gear, which is somewhere in between, and my favorite is the third. Now the shifts are very good, Sometimes there is a little bit of a delay with the shifts, but in the third, that's a good level there for me to maintain around 25 kilometers per hour or slightly over just riding along. The ride is very smooth and effortless. And are there any rattles? Rattles really annoy me on any bike. So going over this, not really. I think maybe the rear mudguard could occasionally make a bit of noise, but nothing seems to be loose and rattle or, or anything like that. So the bike is perfect for bike lanes. What I really like about the G4 here is that the more pedal effort I put in, it's very quick to detect that and then give me that boost from the front motor when I actually need it. Now sometimes when you start out, there is a little bit of a delay in giving me that power, but you can tweak that through the application that I did show you. And then the difficult climb test spot that I test out with these e-bikes. So I'm going to start out in gear number one, which is the easy gear. And this is a 25 to 30 degree slope here that I'm climbing, slight little hill. This is fine, okay? Do this easy. And gear number two now, it's, I'm having to put a little bit of effort in, but not too bad. And of course I do have the boost button, let's test that out. So pushing that, <laughs> it's definitely helping. And I'm picking up a bit of speed here. So it climbs for a front, wheel drive e-bike, it climbs really quite well. And the more effort I put in myself, the more of course it's giving back to me with its torque sensor. Now for my braking test, so I am using the app here, hopefully that's gonna come through with the GoPro, to get up to about 30 kilometers per hour, which is here. Good brakes, very good brakes. In fact, I was skidding the rear wheel uh, so if I'd used my own ABS style, I could have actually reduced the braking distance there, but very good brakes on this. For a 20 inch, these have to have some of the best brakes that I've tested out because on the other e-bikes I review, they are all mechanical disc brakes. And I have made it now to the end of Las Rodas in Denia. Beautiful coastline along here. Really good ride, effortless, good climb, smooth, and 
good brakes. I'm not gonna go flying off the edge here because the braking is excellent in the G4. Okay, what about the range? Now it's completely unexpected. I did not imagine that for every 10% of battery that I lose, I am getting around seven kilometers of rides in. And that does include a few small climbs, occasionally pushing that boost button that it does have. So that's a fantastic range. I've not been able to get that out of any 20 inch foldable e-bike that I have covered. So it's phenomenal range out of it. So you could, in theory, I can see that a lot of people, if you ride in the flat and you're maybe a little bit lighter than me and you make better use of those gears, you could probably end up getting 80 kilometers out of a single charge on this, which is excellent. I normally only see that kind of range out of larger wheeled e-bikes with huge batteries, say 15 amp hours or 12 amp hours, a lot, of course, bigger than what we have within this, which is 8.1 amp hours. Now, the design of this e-bike, it's absolutely top notch here it is very good you can see that they've put a huge amount into the design of this the effort to reduce weight where they could but not compromise on build quality which is great there is nothing really that's rattling at all on this bike which was one of my things that i do cover with e-bikes that if it doesn't rattle it gets a huge thumbs up from me maybe occasionally the rear mud guard could rattle but it's not really a problem braking performance for a 20 inch e-bike it's the best there. It's a class topper when it comes to the braking performance. It is very good. And of course, it just folds down so quickly as I showed you at the start of the video there. It's only about 10 seconds to completely fold it down. There's really no areas that I could criticize this bike apart from maybe the tires, depending on your climate. So they're like MotoGP style, which looks excellent. These custom tires, custom designed. However, I think in the wet, you're going to have to be a little bit careful with them in wet climates. I've already noticed that on some of the surfaces here that I've been riding around on that have been very smooth concrete with a little bit of light sand on it or a little bit of light gravel, the front wheel has actually slipped under load when it gives me the pulling power to help with the pedal assists there. So that's one thing you need to bear in mind. So I do hope they offer an option with more of a wet tire or should I say a, a, an intermediate or an all season tire that would be better for wetter climates there, I think would be good, but they, they do offer a lot of grip. It's just that own little thing there. Now the front headlight, super powerful, and the rear light, you can see them in daytime, they come on automatically. Now the riding modes with the application, it's very good that you can just uh, get into the app, it pairs up with that low powered Bluetooth, and you're able to customize that to your own preference there, which is really good. It gives us lots of options. However, I would have liked to have seen with this model, uh, an option just to simply press a button to cycle through some different pedal assist uh, options. Imagine you're a little low on the battery and you want to go into the eco mode, but you have to get your phone out, connect up to it, then select eco mode, which isn't too much of a hassle, but it would be a lot nicer if there was a simple button there. Those are my only two minor criticisms. It's a fantastic e-bike, but it doesn't come cheap. It's over 4,000 euros. But for that price, you are getting simply, I think, the best of the 20 inch foldable e-bikes. It really cannot be beaten. If you want a top quality, top e-bike with that fantastic range, this here is the one to get. So before I have to return it, I'm gonna get a few more rides in with this great bike here. Thanks a lot for watching my review. Hope you did like it. Do subscribe for more e-bike reviews and I'll see you in the next one.